There's just something satisfying about doing this shit by hand rather than using fucking tools, air tools or any of that shit. I don't know, I've just always enjoyed this when I put something together. Taking things apart is one thing, but putting things together, I enjoy doing it by hand. That's a true car guy right there. Oh, no fake for sure. I mean, this truck's been in my family since before I was eight. And pretty much around my eighth birthday, me and my dad started doing the cam on the original motor. That's why I pulled it and wrapped it and pretty much put it on a crate for now. Because I'm going to rebuild it and go through it. Make sure everything's good because it blew free plugs thanks to Rat's Nest. I'm sure you guys have been following the fucking build. If not, it was a rat's nest in the fucking uh, bell housing. Anyway, easiest fix is just to pull it and put a different motor in it for me right now. Because I need my truck. But anyway, the story is, is when I first started working on cars, I was eight years old. And this was the very first truck I ever touched. And... It's definitely not going to be my last. I love this fucker, dude. This is my baby. It's been in my family for generations, I feel like. The second generation of work on it. So, excuse me for being sentimental, but it's the legend. That's her name. The legend. She is a legend, not in her own mind. I won't get into the stories. All I know is what I've been told. And I'm sure they're true. I've witnessed some of it with my own eyes when I was a kid. This fucking truck was one of the fastest trucks where it's from. And I'm not gonna say where it's from, but it was literally the fastest truck in the whole valley where it lived. It, it's time. And that says something, because there was other trucks that tried to compete with big blocks. All right, I gotta get on that. And this one had just a small block. It was built, but it was still small block. Now we've upped the ante and we put a 440 HD out of Overland. Not a mini Winnie, that's for sure. It was one of them ones where you gotta tear the house down to get the damn thing out. Anyway, I'm excited to see how she runs after being on the shelf for 10 years. She's been on the shelf ever since I got here. With this in mind. <sighs> Line up bolts are out. I really wish I had a wire wheel. That's gross. Oh, well, it's my new form of Loctite, I guess. One click in. There it is. It says I don't want to. It did too. Damn. Didn't feel like it. Okay. I'll take it. Good fucking tunes today. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for that on YouTube. Oh, fucking copyright. Alright. That boat's a little short. It's because I think there's shit in the hole. We'll find out. Yep. Pull it back out, damn it. But you know what? It's worth it when you own a Mopar. I guess we can get this damn strap out of here. It was my safety device. Gotta have some of that, you know? When you're doing shit very unsafe. Believe me, it was so unsafe. Back in the day, I probably would just bench that fucker into place. Wouldn't even thought twice. Back when my back was good my hips, but now I've gotten older, fuck that. 
do shit the easy way, man. We hooked that thing up with the cherry picker up onto the jack. <sighs> Hell yeah. Success.